Let's go upstairs to Bob and FB and get their thoughts about this game as we look forward to the rubber match tomorrow afternoon here at the park, guys. Yeah, Johnny, that'll be a great pitching matchup tomorrow, and this is why the Nats got a guy like Max Scherzer to win series against teams like this that you're facing, either home or road. Tough to fall behind 5-0. They took care of that. St. Louis came into the ball game, Fewest home runs in the league along with Milwaukee, but if you leave some pitches up, major league hitters are going to get them. Yeah, and I don't know, you know, what the mechanical thing is with Doug Fister is right now, but the last two starts, he's been up. I mean, he'll figure it out. He's a veteran guy. I thought, you know, we saw the moxie tonight that he kept his ball club in the game. They showed some fight, came back and tied the ball game up, but you know, against a good team like the Cardinals, it's tough to spot the good teams, you know, that have a good bullpen mm-hmm. five runs. Lackey, I didn't think was that sharp tonight. They took advantage of some mistakes he made. Uh, another good baseball game, though. They, they just came up on the short end tonight. I don't, I don't think there's any real thing to point your finger at that they didn't do well tonight, other than Fister being up early in the game. Uh, kind of a transition period for the bullpen here. Because you you bring up a rookie today. Tyler Clippard's not here. We all have to get used to that. The eighth inning's going to be a challenge at times. Barrett and Trinan, they're young guys. Drew Storen, still young guy in his career as a closer. Uh, Any issues, any concerns about the back end of the bullpen right now? Well, I think there probably is a little bit, but it's early and guys are still getting used to their roles. Where is Matt Williams going to use me? When's that phone going to ring? When am I going to answer it? Uh, You know, all things you got to get used to. I don't know about you guys, but I I really liked uh, Tanner Roar last night in the late innings. Yeah. I thought he was fantastic, and that might be something you think about tinkering with here as you move forward to that guy being your seventh or eighth inning guy on occasion, mm-hmm. but I really liked what he did last night. Blake Trinan's going to be fine, but he's just at the mercy of his sinker, even though it's 97-98. If it's not sinking and it's elevated, a lot like Doug Fister, he's going to get hit. I yeah. thought his slider was good tonight, but he left a few big pitches up. And he still has to get ahead of guys a little better than he's doing right now. I predict Tanner Roark guy will have at least one three-inning save this year. We'll see about that down the road. But, hey, tomorrow ought to be fantastic. We've called this series Big Boy Baseball. Tomorrow might be the ultimate with Scherzer against that young fireballer, Michael Waka. Okay, thank you, Big Boy, very much. <laughs> Bob Carpenter, F.P. Santangelo up top.